In this video, we're going to find the cosine of 120 degrees. In a previous video, I discussed theoretically what it even means to have a cosine of, of an angle greater than 90 degrees. And as we discussed before, um, we have the unit circle and we draw the angle in question. And cosine is defined uh, to be the x value of the point formed by that angle. In other words, we have that point is equal to cosine of 120 degrees sine of 120 degrees. And so finding out what cosine of 120 degrees is, is the same as saying what is the x value of that point. Well, how can we find the x value of that point? Um, we can draw lines perpendicular and on the x-axis. Um, so we create that triangle over there, and we know that the blue side is going to be very much related to what the x value of that point is. So we want to find out what that blue side is. In order to do that, we need to have some information about this triangle. Um, let's call that blue side A. Let's call the, um, the red line 1, because that's the length of it, because this is the unit circle. And most importantly, uh, we have this angle over here, 60 degrees, which is called a reference angle. It's a reference angle because we're going to see um, that we need that angle to find out uh, what the cosine of 120 degrees is, and in fact, the cosine of the reference angle is very much related to the cosine of the angle that we're trying to find. Um, so what is A? Um, A, as you might be able to see, uh, if we just start from the cosine of 60 degrees, it's going to be equal to A over 1, which is equal to A. So A, in fact, is just the cosine of 60 degrees. The length of the blue side is the cosine of 60 degrees. Um, now the cosine of 60 degrees you should know, and or you should memorize, um, is one half. So we know that uh, after we get rid of those other labelings, the length of that blue side is one half. Uh, so you might say the cosine of 120 degrees is one half. Well, you wouldn't be correct if you said that because notice that the x value is negative. In other words, we're going one half in the negative direction. So cosine of 120 degrees is going to go the reverse uh, of or the negative of cosine of 60 degrees, which is equal to negative a half. Um, so this is basically the procedure, and you'll find um, that you could do a shortcut once you um, really are aware of what uh, a reference angle is and how to find it. Um, the reference angle really is always how much the uh, angle differs from 180 degrees. So this is the process, uh, algorithmically speaking, that you need to do um, to solve any of these problems. Of course, the more comfortable you get, you don't have to do all of these um, if you feel really comfortable. But the first thing is draw the angle and draw the point formed by that angle and realize that the cosine of that angle is the x value of that point and the sine is the y value of that point. Um, that's the definition of cosine and sine for angles that are greater than 90 degrees. Next. Find the reference angle, which is basically the angle you used in that other triangle. And um, it's always going to be the angle, uh, how far your degree measure is away from either 0 or 180, whatever's closer. Um, so in this case, it was 60 degrees. And find the cosine or sine of that reference angle, depending on what you're finding. And uh, then you adjust the sine based on where the point is. For example, if the point is in quadrant 2, then you know that the x value is going to be negative, so you're going to have a negative cosine. And so sine and cosine really depend on where the point formed by that angle lies. 